Here we are in Discovering Digital Media. You've got an assignment that says Composition Basics, and it asks you to make three things. And this is Mr. Bach demonstrating those three things. If you're interested in or concerned with what's going on up here, this whole rig is so I can get a live feed of everything that's going on inside this camera that's not a recording that this camera is making and so I can have it show up up there at the same time. We got Chance up in there and right now I can see that autofocus is tracking his face around and I've got a little center of the frame thing right now. First requirement in that project is Centered subject is super, super basic. Something that I usually encourage people to avoid if it's possible. Something that I make fun of my mother-in-law for doing when she takes pictures and gets all the people centered completely in the frame. We're doing centered subject. I'm gonna exaggerate what I've got going on. I've got his face right in the center of my frame to the point where there's some things that I think are actually kind of wrong with this shot. Usually if you're going to shoot a portrait or something with a person or a face, you don't want to have extra room or a lot of extra room above your subject's head. The amount of headroom that you put above somebody is going to change depending on the distance of your camera or the type of shot that you're doing. If I wanted to shoot Chance in a little bit of closer shot, I'm gonna put a little bit less room above Chance's head than below Chance's chin for the most part. This is pretty much a rule only if you're shooting shots of people. If you're trying to show off centered subject and you just wanna get a shot of something, it's an object that's centered, yeah, I wouldn't worry about the whole headroom thing, but there you go. Let's say this is our centered subject. Gonna take one, boom, there it is. Okay, if you wanna take a shot of a person and you wanna keep them centered, I would reduce the amount of headroom. And it's just kind of a generally accepted composition rule. Next thing that we're gonna do is called dirty framing, which is kind of the opposite of a centered subject. So I'm still gonna use chance. I'm not gonna do a whole lot different with it, except that we're gonna change things. So the most important thing in my shot is partially in frame. Hey, let's have you get a little closer, move that way just a hair. Told him I was gonna move him around like a Barbie doll. And that's what we're doing. So if I wanted to do a dirty frame shot, and my subject is Chance right here. I'm gonna have part of Chance outside of the frame. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna have his face completely in the frame. If I have my subject that's partially out of frame, a lot of times my autofocus might not be working on the part that I wanna accentuate. So at this point, I'm gonna be using manual focus on this one so I can make sure that Chance is in focus and the background's kind of out of focus. Depending on what kind of camera you're using, there might be a tap to focus or something like that. You absolutely don't have to use a camera like this. You could use your smartphone to do this, but things are gonna work a little different, obviously. So if I'm doing a, a dirty frame shot on Chance's face, I'm probably gonna do something like this. Boom, there it is. That would work. The next thing that we're gonna show off is utilizing this idea that's called the rule of thirds. So the rule of thirds is absolutely not a hard set rule, but it's an idea that might help you get a nicely composed shot if you don't have another option. So we're gonna put you back further. This is the place where it's kind of difficult for me to show stuff off unless I have um, my feed going all the way through here. So I'm touching menu on my camera and normally this stuff will show up on this but when I'm displaying my live feed throughout, it uh, doesn't let me do that, so I have to remember how to do all this stuff up here. Shooting info display, gonna hit set, and I'm gonna go where it says grid display, and turn on three by three. And let's get back out of there. What you can see now is my frame is divided up into three sections vertically and three sections horizontally. These we call the thirds lines. So here's some ways that you can compose your subject utilizing the thirds lines. We're gonna try some stuff. I didn't really come up with a plan for this, so I'm gonna utilize a little bit of my foreground 
and a little bit of my background. And I'm going to start to do some stuff with my framing. And I'm going to use a little bit of what exists there. So I'm going to take those vertical lines in the window and I'm going to try to get them so that they do something on two of my vertical thirds lines. I think that's going to be pretty cool. I've also got my horizontal thirds lines. Something's happening on those. I can see my horizontal thirds lines are kind of um, coinciding with something that's going on in the deep background where kind of like the light changes and the uh, shelves and the countertop happen. That's one way to utilize the rule of thirds and thirds lines. Like you could put a horizon on one of those lines. You could put the land and then the mountaintops could hit two of the thirds lines. You could do something with a beach and the ocean. But I'm going to bring Chance back in and I'm going to put Chance on a thirds line too. I'm going to move my person around. I'm going to still use the thirds lines that are in the background there, but I'm going to do something interesting with Chance. I'm going to put Chance so that part of his body or a focal point or something interesting takes place on a thirds line. So I'm going to have you move that way a little bit. This sets up a little compositional idea. There's a lot more space, a lot more things happening over here um, than over here. If Chance is going to be in a shot and talking to somebody over here or looking at somebody over here, just so that's kind of an interesting compositional idea. If he's interacting with somebody that's on this side of the frame, that's a good idea to do too. And we can call that talk space or leading space. Two different ideas about how to incorporate the rule of thirds in this shot. Release the shutter on that one. Hey, that's pretty good. If uh, that helps you, fulfill the requirements of this super basic composition assignment. That's great. Good luck with that. I hope it works out for you.